Hello everyone, Dan Herb with Dan Herb Prospecting. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. Please consider subscribing. I am out looking for gemstones again. I'm at a site that I actually know there are gemstones because I found them before. I am scouting this site to see if it would be a good site to claim for the local rock club, which I'm the vice president of, the 1120 Rock Club in Kelowna. It's 1120, not the 420 Rock Club. Totally different thing. Anyhow, the 1120 Rock Club in Kelowna, I'm scouting out a site to see if this would be a good spot to claim for them to search for gemstones. Wish me luck. So as I said, I have found gemstones here before. What I'm looking for here is calcite seams in this rock face. Actually, I found them over there somewhere. Calcite seams in this rock face, and there is nothing special about a calcite seam. It's very boring. However, these calcite seams, if you dissolve them in an acid, show the most amazing quartz crystals. Now for acid, you can use just straight vinegar. It takes a long time and you have to use lots of it. Or I would be using hydrochloric acid to dissolve them out. First, I have to discover where it was I found that calcite seam and then see if there's any of it left or volume of it left that's worth actually staking this as a claim for the club. Well, let's go have a look. So I found the first calcite seam. Now this one is not the one that I was working before. I can tell it doesn't have the crystal structure. Oh, it does have a little bit of crystal structure around the edges. Maybe, maybe I'll take some samples and see. So I've been excavating, or excavating, digging around the seam a bit more, and I'm finding some initial signs of crystals in there. Crystals underneath the calcite. So these, look at that, there's a crystal right there embedded in calcite. Yep, these are gonna give us something. Whether the perfect samples or not, I doubt it, but it's gonna give us something. Into the bucket it goes. Into the bucket, into the Dan Herd prospecting bucket. Why keep showing that off? I don't know, maybe I'm proud of it or something. Who knows? I see another one above. The good one I found was way over there somewhere though. I haven't even gone looking over there yet. Yep, this is exactly what we were looking for. Quartz crystals growing into calcite. Or quartz crystals grew with calcite deposited afterwards and protected them. So I am definitely on the right stuff here. There's a beautiful one. Full crystal. You can see its base, but you can also see its perfect termination up top, right in that calcite. So here we are still in the mountain, but it shows you quartz top, quartz bottom, calcite in between, and you can see a beautiful crystal down at the bottom, nice crystal up at the top. That's what we want. I'm gonna take that last piece out of here, then I'm going to pin up this spot and move on to see if we can find another spot. But I'm pretty sure this is gonna be worth claiming now. So this one here is probably going to be the piece of the day, for sure. Nice and big, big flat flake. I can see big clear crystals into the calcite. It's going to be a nice plate when that's dissolved out. Into the bucket she goes. And now we got to leave this one and move on to see if we can find more. So the next seam, which is only like 10 feet from the first, shows very well-defined, nice clear crystals, but very small along the bottom edge of a very large calcium seam. That would take a lot of acid to dissolve. We'll throw those in anyhow, but continue looking for something a bit better. There's a nice looking one, nice big. You can see the crystals forming at the bottom, some of them all the way up through that. All the way around, that one should turn out nice too. It was just sitting right there on the surface. 
So I've been scouting for a while, not digging, just looking around the whole site to see what I can see. I'm up on the second sartier right now, but I don't see any indication of calcite seams in any way on the second tier. There's sort of an excavation up on the hill over there, and there was some calcium, but nothing that looked like it had quartz crystals in it. So I think my best bet is down below. I'm gonna head back down there and see if I can get a few more pieces. Plants are amazing. Getting some beauties again. Right in there. Just about to give up on this spot when my hammer hooked on uh, a great thick chunk of this seam with very large visible quartz crystals on it. Glad I didn't give up. Skitter. So I keep coming across these yellow things in these rocks. This one's just too gold looking to really pass up. Now, I'm positive they didn't make this great big excavation here for calcite and quartz, because it's not worth anything. But, I bet you they may have been looking for gold here. It's probably just a pyrite. But wow, that is bright, bright yellow. I might want to take this one back. So I'm on a really nice section of this seam, pulling out beautiful material. Lots of which I can see quartz crystals in. However, the flies have decided I'm tasty. Flies and mosquitoes are biting me like mad now, so I might call it quits with that. See how those come out with the acid. I'll definitely put shots in here for you guys. And claim this for the club. So we'll leave some of this stuff for the club members to come back and dig. There seems to be lots of it here. All the way along. Here's the entire excavation. It's an old prospect of some sort. I was working right along that bottom edge, right there. So now time to head home, find some acid, and start soaking those and seeing what comes out. I'll be there in a few hours. You'll be there in a second. So here it is, three weeks later. Three seconds for you, I'm sure. I am back home, well not exactly home, I'm out at a camp here, but I am going to start cleaning up those rocks to see what they look like. I ran a few test samples last night, they come out really nice, and I even figured out how to do a time lapse thing so you can see them dissolving right in front of your eyes. Let's see what we can do. So the first rock I'm going to try here is just a little guy. I see some crystals in there that are sort of ready to come out. And this should take an hour or two in the acid. Okay, gently put this in, in front of the time-lapse camera nicely. Just start fizzing right away. Get that going. And, I'll wash off my glove. And let's have a look. There we go. That turns out nice in there. So there it goes, I'll put a lid on in a second, and that's diluted about two to one. So two parts water, one part muriatic acid, just the same acid you can buy at a hardware store. And it's fizzing away nicely. Let's see what comes out of it. So while the acid's working away, let's go look at the other rocks. We've got them over here, and I've separated them out into ones that I don't think have much potential. Sort of the medium potential, medium crystals, medium coolness. And then these over here all have good potential. Some of them you can see crystals right on the surface. Others you can see the points of them coming out all over the place. Uh, some of them just they just seem, yeah, I just think they're good. So here's the ones that I'm gonna play with right now. 
So I'm going to try a big one next. And this one here, you can see all the crystals along the bottom edge, a lot of calcite in the middle, and I assume there's some along the top edge as well. Now I'm not going to dissolve this one all the way, I'm going to leave some calcite in there holding it together, so you'll just see sort of the front half of it. Although, yeah, it's going to come in from the back half too. You'll see a section in the middle that still has calcium left over after it's dissolved. Okay, it is getting late here, so I'm going to have to finish this off tomorrow. But this one is done to the point I want to take it out of the acid. You get to dump out that acid, rinse it out with fresh water, and see what she looks like. Well, in the fading light, we can definitely see some gorgeous quartz crystals in there. They look great. And there's still some calcium left behind, but I meant to do that. I want to leave this sample with the calcium at the core. There we go. Nice Okanagan Lake in the background. So mixing up a new batch of clear acid, that's just water right now, I'll put the acid in in a second. Using this rock right here, there's a lot of calcite on this one, so this one will take a while I think. But, might look good when it's done. Let's put that in here, as I said this is just pure water right now. Ooh, my, my time lapse is ready to go, throw the acid in there, and we're good. And there it goes. Is in a way. Mix this one up a little weaker just so it didn't go so energetically to start with. That one turned out really nice. Left just a little bit of calcium in the middle. Just to hold the top plate in place so it didn't fall down. That one's great. The great! I'm going to do this one next because it looks like it has a crystal on the top that's all by itself, not attached. So when the calcium goes away, that should come free. We should have one little quartz crystal all by itself. And then of course, whatever else is in there. There's the next one. So sure enough, the crystal fell off. And we still have a really nice little cluster in here. Well, that was all fun to do. I hope I got some really good pictures there at the end of those uh, quartz crystals once the calcite's dissolved away. Uh, it's going to be a great claim for the rock club to go to, great spot for rock hounders to go and get those neat specimens with something fun to do, cleaning them to see what's hidden inside, what treasure is hidden inside. Now, unfortunately, without a hat on here, I'm burning like mad. So I got to sign off. Thanks to my patrons out there for supporting me. Because of you, I get to do all this. Thanks everyone for watching.
and until the next one, bye. Ooh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon, all those things, if you want to, of course. Bye. This camera sure is the close-up, close-up camera. It does really nice jobs of really close-in shots. It's a little hard to focus sometimes. Hopefully that's getting uh, those green crystals in there. Don't know what they are, but they're kind of cool to have in combination with that quartz. Since I have a close-up camera, might as well take a few shots with it. Not the 420 Rock Club, totally different thing.